can actually smooth and pretty fill our hot material with slide down. Fresh bricks all the way around. So that's the better border and don't gotta grab, don't gotta hunt for our own bricks. We've got a Tatara built here. That's the furnace behind us. Uh, yeah, the traditional furnace used for making traditional Japanese knife steel. Uh, so tomahogany is what we're making today. Uh, we've got uh, iron ore from uh, uh, Foch Creek near Haines. So we've got about 600 pounds of that. And we're gonna use two tons of charcoal. So the first thousand pounds of charcoal just goes to fill the furnace and get the heat going. Um, then, uh, then we start adding the sand and, and the sand is an iron oxide. Um, so as the sand progresses down through the heat column there, um, you remove um, the free oxide molecules um, through the heat, they just burn off easily. And then the last ones are more firmly attached so it takes more heat to burn those off. That leaves a pure iron molecule in there, which iron is attracted to many things and one of the things it likes is carbon. Um, iron and carbon make steel. Here's some of the slag, it's like a glass. Yeah. Almost like obsidian. Uh -huh. Something hot in me boot. <laughs> I think you oh, can see where right the there. steel starts in the. Yeah. yeah, there's good steel there. It's yeah. kind of sw Swiss can, cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the. Uh, oh! Careful. <laughs> So what we're doing is refining this steel to, and taking all the impurities out. The way to do that is you, you heat it up to critical temperature and uh, carbon starts to migrate out and then we flatten it and double its length and fold it over, forge weld it back to itself and we do that all day for a long time and then uh, by doing that all these impurities will come out. And so this is where the material gets its name. That's the, the natural uh, uh, texture that's in there. Uh, so tomahogany means jewel metal. That's what it means. So that's how it gets its name.